Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. You know what I'm going to say. Let's see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Today's beer is Full Sail Wreck the Halls. So, we're winding down the holiday Christmassy winter beers. And uh, here it is January. We're hoping to get into some of the springtime beers coming up real soon, hopefully. So, this is a uh, 22 ounce, or it's a bomber, it's a big bottle. And it is, uh, it is called the uh, Hoppy Holiday L, Brewmaster's Reserve 2010. So we'll see uh, how the Brewmaster's Reserve turns out today. Uh, this beer comes from Full Sail Brewing out of Hood River, Oregon. It is American IPA. It's a wintertime serving, 6.50 ABV. So just a tad stronger than a normal beer. Uh, the food pairing for this cuisine would be the curry, the Thai, the cheeses, the pepper, the Monterey. Uh, pepper Jack, Sharp, Blue, your more pungent cheeses, uh, Gorgonzola, even Limburger. Uh, the meat for this would be poultry fish and shellfish, so uh, uh, salmon, you know, fish, any of, the, any of the fish dishes will work well with this. Uh, it's not recommended for a standard cellar in because supposedly it's got a little more hoppy presence. That's what they say, it's a hoppy ale, American IPA, so we're going to see when we bust the cap on this thing here if it has any hop presence. You can use the pint glass, is what we're using today, the, uh, the, the stein, the mug, tumbler, about whatever you want to pour it into, so let's pour it into this. See if we can get a little bit of a head on this thing. Alright. Poured a good finger of head there, it looks pretty good in the glass there, don't you think? Uh, it is an uh, amber colored, uh, darker amber. It's not a deep, rich color, but it's a, it's not a, a pale golden ale, so it's a, a light coppery color. Nah, got nice bubbles uh, coming up from the bottom of the glass there, so it's fairly carbonated beer. Looks pretty good in the glass, and looks like a nice IPA in the glass. Uh, uh, the bubbles are small and large on the top there. Very nice looking beer in the glass, so let's get a nose on it. Uh, I got a I got a little hot presence there, but it's not any it's not like a, a summertime IPA, American IPA would be. Just a little citrusy. Not not much. They use centennial hops on this, so uh, uh this was a gold medal winner at the World Beer Championships for twenty ten, so I hope it lives up to what the hoopla is about it. Let's taste it. Definitely got a hot presence there. A little citrusy. I've done a couple of full sale beers and none of them so far has uh, it's <laughs> been anything other than an average beer. I'm a little more impressed with this one than what I have been so far. I wonder if the bottle has a dating on it. <clears throat> Don't see one, so I know it's a fresh because it's there. You know, wreck the hall. It's a winter. It's a holiday beer for 2010. So. Then they got a hoppy presence to it. It's nice to get a hoppy beer in the wintertime, January especially. Yeah, that's nice. I'm liking it so far. So I'm going to sip on it, let it warm up, and share some of this with the other half. And uh, I'll be right back and we'll do the final chugging grade. Stick around. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around. Got just a little left in the glass here. It's a 
It's a decent beer. I mean, uh, I like it. It's a nice, a nice hoppy change for a January beer. It's not, uh, it's not a hoppy monster or anything like that, but it's, uh, it's a decent showing. Uh, I can see why this would, would get a good rating from the, the gold medal, <laughs> gold medal winner from the World Beer Championship this year. So. Yeah, it smells as it warmed up, the, the aromas come out, and it smells pretty good now, so. Final chug. That's a decent beer. It's an above average beer. It's not an outstanding beer or anything. It's a it's a good solid B beer. I hate to I hate to do a B beer on a, a gold medal winner at the beer championships, but it's just a... It's not it's not as good as some of the IPAs that are out there that I have that I like and I enjoy that are my good my go to IPAs. Uh, the Bells, Two Hundred Ale, that's a nice sweet IPA and I can I can name up a couple others, but this is this beer review and it's a good it's a it's a B beer for January. It's 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 a good beer, so I'm gonna give this a uh, I'm gonna give this a six on the scale, which is a solid B on the one to ten scale. Uh, I'm going to be posting the beer rating schedule on all these new beers uh, so everybody knows, so uh, everybody will see that on the review. So if you've had this beer, let me know. I mean, trying to get all these holiday beers out of here. This is Wreck the Halls. Give me a comment. Let me know what you think. Rate Beer has this at 94 overall and 88 in style, which is a pretty good rating. And Beer App gives us a B plus. So uh, it's not a B plus in my, in, in my book. So I've not been, uh, not a big fan of the big, the full sale beer so far. So this is the best rating I've given a full sale beer. So pick it up. Let me know what you think. Maybe I'm being a little too critical on this beer. Uh, it didn't. It didn't do a whole lot for me, but it's a good solid B beer. So let me know what you think, guys. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next beer review.